Hello beautiful creative people, Kyla here to walk you through a quick tutorial that you might find um, fun and easy and most of all simple. I'm taking a look at this page spread but I'm thinking I just want to work on one side of the page where I create borders around the edge and write quick quotes in the center. So here are some of the supplies I'm thinking about using. I've got this little container of paints uh, acrylic paints, a little water bottle mister spray filled with water, a cup of water in case I decide to do something more substantial, paper towels, a brayer, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it but I like to have it handy. Um, obviously I'm working in a pre, a purchased journal. I have some permanent black pens, two different ones. Uh, one is a brush tip one is the Tombow Mono drawing pen, and I think it's an 05 um, nib. I'm also going to be using different materials for dabbing paint on, sponge, um, makeup wedge. And I have a little thing of gesso off to the side just in case I need to cover something up. So, um, I also have a heat tool in case I want to speed up the drying process, which when you're trying to work quickly, that always helps. I also have, but probably won't use, uh, but I have them nearby, some um, concentrated watercolors by uh, Dr. P.H. Martin, I think. And then I have these Ecoline brush tip watercolor markers, which are super vibrant and I like them. A lot so I may I might use those. Now uh, the journal I'm working in is a Strathmore uh, mixed-media journal with a soft cover and the pages are really yummy for acrylic paint work and anything involving wet media watercolor that kind of thing. Now the next thing I'm going to show you are my stencils. Um, the ones I'm using for this particular project, I've kind of tried to stay with the one type of stencil, and I really wanted organic shapes, things that don't have too hard of, ed of an edge. Uh, so I'm picking some of the, soul the new stencils, the Soulful Scribbles um, designs by Tracy Bautista. And I just love Tracy's style, the graffiti of it, and I think what I like most about this particular set of stencils is that you can cut them and they you can use them in different um, shapes and sizes as a matter of fact Tracy even recommends uh, cutting them and using them in bits and pieces so that you can mix and match your your design elements on the page so I'm just kind of looking through each of them and thinking about what would be simple but what also is sort of speaking to me from the stencil design itself. So I think that um, one of the things I know I want to start with is probably um, putting paint on the page. So I'm going to grab my makeup sponge and pick a few colors of paint. And when you're working quickly, it helps to think quickly too, to make decisions quickly. Um, and so you know, not lingering too, too long on choices. So I'm going to pick uh, two colors of, of paint, and I'm actually going to go with a red and a yellow um, because I'm really thinking about the color that will uh, show up as the third color when those two start to blend. So I'm going to speed up a little bit here uh, so you can watch me through the process, but a part of what I'm going to do is put down paint on a little piece of plastic Ziploc that I've been using um, just as a palette and um, for another tutorial that I've done. So this um, process is can be done, um, like I said, pretty quickly. And the faster you can go, the better. So laying out the colors of your paint on your palette ahead of time are help you know will, will be helpful for moving through this tutorial pretty quickly because otherwise um, you've got to stop each time you want to change colors or think about a color and that can hinder the intuitive creating process so go ahead and put your colors out on the palette when 
So once I decide on the stencil design or the portion of the stencil that I want to use, I'm just using my makeup sponge and I'm coming over and just doing a basic application of paint onto the page. But I am using my stencil in different directions just to give me some variation. And now I'm, I actually want to layer another, a second stencil or a second portion of a stencil right over the top. And I'm, one of, I'm trying to work again quickly so that my red will still be somewhat wet and maybe blend over into that yellow just a little bit to create a little bit of an orange. Um, now I'm coming in with Pam Carriker's, um Liquid Graphite, which I love for like scribbling words into paint or onto paper. And I just wrote the word simplicity. Now I'm using a... Um, Chinese calligraphy brush pen. It has a very, very flexible um, brush tip. And I'm just pinning a quote, Simplicity is the Essence of Happiness by Cedric Bledsoe. Uh, and you'll notice that the pen had a little bit of skipping, so I'm just going back over uh, most of my letters, not all of them, but most of them, just to deepen the black and also um, just to make it really fill in those spaces. So now I'm moving on to a second page and this time I'm going to use a larger portion of the stencil and I'm going to work ever so quickly to make sure I can blend those colors the way I was hoping to blend them in the first um, on the first page. So I'm showing you multiple pages here because I, I think this to me is the, the beauty of working quickly is that you don't stop too long to think, you don't stop too long to even celebrate, like you just keep moving. Um, so now I'm coming in over that stencil and I, I really love how the orange and the red or the yellow and the red blend it to make this beautiful orange color that you see there as well. It's almost like an ombre effect and I really love that. So I'm using a, an auto um, graphic pen in a 0 0.01 it's very thin so it's allowing me to get some super sketchy lines and I'm just um, pinning the word simplicity and that's kind of the theme of these pages that's the other thing quotes are really great to use for quick uh, journal pages and I'm doing a little bit of journaling writing some things about simplicity keep it simple silly um, and uh, I think I pin the others the same quote I used the first time. Now I'm coming in just doing a little bit of detail work. Um, I am someone who can get really carried away with detail work, so I literally had to force myself to stop making these dots, even though I really love how it turned out. So there you have it, two really quickly simple pages to create um, when you feel like you're out of time, but you just can't help yourself, you've got to create. So stay tuned for some still shots of those two images. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.